That is, you don't get much better than that right there. We're back at the shop tonight working on this radiator. One of the last few pieces I have to get this hot rod finished up and uh, ready to go for the season. Um, last night I was in here and I didn't film it, um, but I got the mounts, lower mounts done. So this is basically bolted in. Nuts are on, but not tight down there. So only thing we got left to do tonight is uh, get this uh, upper bracket made and uh, then I'll move on I got uh, a little bit of wiring I want to do um, so if I want to drop down and run a uh, mod class uh, which is no box then I can do that and still have my trans break um, so that's all that's left right now for the the old hot rod and uh, then we'll be ready to go for the season. Well, for now, hopefully next month I can go ahead and get the hoses I need bought um, to finish the water system up. Um, doesn't take much, but I got to wait until next month's budget to do get that stuff purchased. So anyway, we're going to get busy with that. Um, follow along. Okay, so what I'm working on right now is the brackets. I've already got a bend here. I'm just using a, I think I got this at Harbor Freight maybe, a small brake press. Um, I'm in my lines and something you need to know when you're doing this is you'll notice where the, you see the crack right there? That's where it bends up. So I actually made my line, I put my line just just this way, uh, that way, from the crack, because you got to allow material thickness. Uh, so when you make your bend, so we made our bend, and I did it on the one already, and I want you to see how this lays out. Check that out. And this bend, this bend I measured and tested and had to bend it twice. But this one, I got lucky on the first try. That don't happen often. Anyway, so I got both my brackets made. I just got to shorten this one now or shorten them now to get them to the right length. And then we're ready to start drilling holes. Can you split the fire the guts? And the, the simple answer is yes. Battery power control directors, spot one and spot two, the one on the forward tower, the forward plot, one and aft plot that can aim the guns. <laughs> one able for the five inch guns before I can also be cross connected to the 16 inch gun that you need. So, uh,
this put back on and things done as far as I can go right now uh, with the radiator and uh, put, the, put the old girl in the trailer. So I'm coming to you live from Greenbrook Racing's trailer. So there is you know, a quick quickie tour here. I'll flip this around and show it to you. But uh, in summary, Everything's done. I'm going to flip the camera around. I'll show you what we did to summarize. Um, and um, yeah, so we'll be ordering the hoses and fittings here in another week or so. And then we'll uh, probably about the first week in April, we'll get the old girl back in the shop and finish her up and she'll be ready to race. So, uh, yeah, so let me flip the camera around and we'll show you around. All right, so here's here's the old girl sitting in the trailer. And as you can see, we did, we got her all mounted. Um, I don't think in the video I originally showed how I mounted the bottom. So let me see if I can show you that real quick here. So these tabs right here came with the radiator and uh, I had I got a shroud for it too but it, I don't think I'm gonna have room for it because the shrouds about about that deep so I'm not gonna have room for the shroud so I'll just put the fan right back here and call it good um, here is the the surge puke tank for the radiator mounted here and right down there as you saw earlier in the video that's the pump it's actually i think from a ford lightning it's called a um, circulation pump i believe which i think that's all i'm going to need for this thing since it's running on alcohol um, if we need more i'll add, replace it with a bigger pump later but um, so yeah so i just got to order an adapter order a piece of hose here and then an adapter that goes from hose inch and three quarter here to uh, dash 12 a n and then that'll go in here to the to the uh, inlet hose here then we're going to come out of here with another hose going into a y block that will turn this around sorry about that that will get attached here on both sides. And then we have another one. It'll come out of here, come out of there, right there, and come over here, have another short piece of hose with a uh, Mazira adapter. This is inch and a half that will adapt that. 
and that's our return. So that's all we need to do yet. And uh, then of course just wire the pump in, which won't take long because I've already got the wires right down there where that green tag is. So that's all I got to do to finish it. Um, for the trailer, it's a 28 foot United. Uh, I bought it and then as a bare unit, I put the ceiling insulation, air conditioning. I put all the lights in, the, uh, the metal, the stereo system. Uh, my dad and I made these cabinets for the uppers. And the lowers I got uh, as a kit. And then I had this bench um, made. The, the metal formed. There was actually wood under it. And then I had the metal, the aluminum formed over that. Um, so that's that's kind of it. And then I got my winch down here, and um, everything over there for the to convert AC to DC and AC to AC and all that good stuff. So it's kind of a quickie, quickie on it. I originally had this all set up and opened up here in the front for a golf cart, but I sold the golf cart. So now this is just good storage for my methanol. So that's it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, really appreciate it if you do that. Um, it really helps me out. And again, if you're so inclined, um, you can go down in the link in the description and buy me a cup of coffee. That also helps me out with the channel. You guys have a great day and I hope to see you at a track somewhere.